morning. Thanks for getting ready with me. <laughs> I'm actually... This is gonna be a pretty normal vlog, you guys. Um, it's just starting to rain sleet outside. There's still a ton of snow on the ground and I am actually on my way to do a presentation today. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me for that ride. First things first, I need to check the tire pressure in my new vehicle. Let me go ahead and tell you guys about said new vehicle. Okay. <laughs> Winter girl. So you know how I've been wanting a manual transmission vehicle, right? Preferably something that's like all wheel drive or four by four, maybe even a Ford Bronco. I found something even better and it just so happened to save me about $60,000. Please meet <laughs> my 2004 Honda CRV. <laughs> I actually found this car for sale for really affordable. It's a five speed manual transmission and it's all wheel drive. So introducing Uncle Iroh. Come on. You've got to feel the flow. Yeah, anyway, we can talk more about him later, but um, <clears throat> it's definitely still very snowy in Ohio. And like I said, it is sleeting rain right now. So I can't wait to go drive in this. Oh, that one's good. Okie dokie, well, tires are good. Time to put this away and then pack up and hop in the car. Let's go. <laughs> I wish I could zoom out more. Um, yeah. <laughs> Here's my new car. Ugh. Can open that up for a little bit more light. So, like I said, this is a 2004 Honda CRV, and it's just I I can't believe I found this car. You guys, I can't believe it. These things are so rare. So flip you around and I actually have, uh, it still has like a CD player and a cassette deck. So I bought this little phone holder here. So I bought this little phone holder here that goes into the CD player and my phone sits just like that. <laughs> look at it, like, like look at the freaking parking brake. What is that? <laughs> anyway, okay. I love it. I love it. 19 year old car. It's technically an 04, but it was purchased in 03. Uh, 125,000 miles. And this is a Honda. We're just breaking her in. <laughs> All right, well, let's get driving. Okay, there's like nowhere for me to hold this camera because it's huge. I'm so used to vlogging on a GoPro. <laughs> All right, first things first, this car needs an alignment. That's for damn sure. It keeps pulling over to the right-hand side of the road. But what the hell made me buy an almost 20-year-old car? Like, didn't I just sell my, my car so that we could buy the truck? Why am I not driving the truck? <laughs> um, so this, like I've, I've said just nonstop this winter has been absolutely brutal. I mean, I hate it. I, I just, I hate it so much. And a lot of you guys ask, why do I stay here? Why don't I move somewhere south? Well, Jordan, you know, like Jordan still has a career here. He, we don't make enough money from the internet to just up and buy a house and live full time YouTubers. That's not the case. Plus my entire family is here and I don't want to leave them. I sold my Civic so that we could buy a truck because we really needed a truck. And uh, Jordan's car has basically gone into winter hibernation mode. Now he did drive his FRS all through the winter last year and it was not great. I mean, it wasn't awful, but it just, it's a rear wheel drive sports car. So for example, we have technically been snowed in, like we have not been able to clear our driveway for seven days. We got a really, really bad winter storm last week and it just iced and sleeted and snowed for like 72 hours straight. 
So our driveway is still not clear. Our garage doors were frozen shut and Jordan's car would have never been able to make it out of the garage. So Jordan has been daily driving the truck to and from work every day. And it started getting to the point where I was like, I am traveling so much for work. Like I, I need a vehicle to get to the airport. And I really wanted a Bronco, man. Like I just, I told you, I can't do first gen vehicles and I don't have 70 grand. <laughs> I just, I don't know how much money you guys think I make from these videos, but it's barely enough to survive, you know? Like it's just enough for me to get by and do the things that go back into the channel. So the Bronco would not necessarily go back into the channel. This channel is called Her Two Wheels and I think I would have lost a lot of people if I got a Bronco. So anyway, I just didn't do it. I'll wait for the second gen. I'll wait for more money. I'll just, I'll wait. So like I said, this, this little car is a diamond in the rough. It is a gem. They only made manual transmission CRVs for one gen and it's this gen. This is the second gen CRV. It's a 2004, 125,000 miles on it. And it's just, it's in mint condition. And it, is it like a sexy car? No, <laughs> it's, I call it grandpa gold. That's the color of it. The entire interior is like beige. <laughs> it's just, it's a good beater. I mean, it's not even a beater. This car's really nice actually. It's in really great condition. When I found this, I actually found this car for sale in Columbus, Ohio, um, right after Christmas, 2021. And I sent it to Jordan. I was like, yo, check it out. Look at this. And he's like, buy it now. And I was like, oh my God, no, like we need to wait. Maybe I want to get a Bronco, blah, blah, blah. But I just, with, with the, with the debt that I still have on the road glide and the truck, I'm like, I'm not going into debt again for another vehicle. This is stupid. My whole goal for last year was to be financially independent. And that didn't happen because I kept buying stuff because I love motor vehicles. I just, I will go into debt for motor vehicles more than I would for like um, an amazing vacation or something. Like I, I love cars and motorcycles, but I don't want to go in debt again. So I finally, I waited, I waited. I sat on this for like three or four weeks and then I finally decided, I was like, I need to just get it. Like I, I need a vehicle, I need a beater. I don't need anything fancy. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Bluetooth. Like there's literally a cassette tape deck in it. Um, so I called the dealership and I was like, hey, do you guys still have the 04 CRV? It's a manual transmission. And the guy, the sales guy immediately was like, you just took the words out of my mouth. Like, you need to know it's a manual. And I was like, yeah, I know that's why I want it. And he's like, I've had so many people interested in this car. And as soon as they find out it's a manual, they don't want it anymore. And I'm like, well, yikes, nobody knows how to drive stick shift anymore. And um, so we drove over there, test drove it. It was like sleeting and snowing. And I, I fell in love. As soon as I turned the car on and put it in first gear, I like all of these like high school memories just came flooding back to me from driving these old like, piece of crap Honda Civics. <laughs> it's just, I'm very, very happy. So I bought a car. It's my new car. And right now it is taking me over to the National Veterans Memorial Museum. I'm actually doing a presentation over there with all of the dealerships in Ohio. And my presentation is going to consist of how to utilize social media for your business. So if <laughs> I don't do public speaking. I haven't done a formal presentation in public speaking since college. So it was like 12 years ago. So pray for me. <laughs> but yeah, this is my car. Several bad puns later. Well, that was a relatively painless presentation. I don't know about you guys, but public speaking always sucks no matter how good you are at the topic. Oh, my camera. It's falling. Bye. Awkward trying to record this vlog while not showing like all of my dirty dishes in the background. We got Midgey up here too, check her out. Hi mama. Okay. Oh, that was fun. I mean like, um, not fun. Public speaking is always terrible, but I did get to drive in the car for the first time in a long time and cause we've been snowed in. Currently have, you can look outside, it's so bright. Everything outside is just, you probably can't even see anything, but waiting for the sun to kind of come out a little bit more. I'm going to get out there and try to shovel, but yeah, man, we have legitimately been stuck. Um, Jordan's been going to work. The main roads are clear, but I 
the it's like this thick of just ice in our driveway the roads are disgusting i have not ridden my motorcycle in so long and i'm so sorry that i just keep saying that i keep complaining so that's kind of why i am just making this lifestyle vlog video is just oh my god i just saw a bird fly in jordan's birdhouse a little birdie just flew in there. Oh, honey. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh gosh, you can't see me. Okay, okay. Whew. Oh my God, there's a little bird. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so proud of Jordan's birdhouse. Yeah, I just, uh, I just want to take you along with my day. This is not a very normal day for me in the life of a moto vlogger, YouTuber. And listen, I think... I don't think I'm gonna consider myself a moto vlogger anymore. Um, I'll still do moto vlogs and stuff, but I'm sure you guys know moto vlogging is pretty <sighs> underperforming, oversaturated, and what can I say that hasn't been said before? So I just want to take a step back from the pressure of constantly feeling I need to create. And that's essentially what this vlog is. I want you to come along with me in my daily life and, you know, get ready with me, hang out, stuff like that, so. Okay, look at this. This is what I'm saying. Like, this stuff is so frozen solid. It's just one chunk of ice. And it's everything. It's taking so long to melt. I cannot believe I just got that on camera. Go check it out. Oh, Jordan is going to be mad. Sorry, honey, I broke your favorite beer glass. I hate broken glass. It's like you can never get rid of it all. It's okay, honey. I didn't want you to get glass in your little peats. Oh, okay. Are you ready to come out now? Sorry. But honey, you can't get glass in your feet. Thank you for being patient. Okay, well that was dramatic. I can't believe I got that on camera. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the part about what I mean when I say I'm going away. That is literally what I'm gonna be doing figuratively, mentally, and yeah, all of the adjectives to explain what I mean by that. So if you, I'm sure you guys have noticed, I'm, I'm sick of telling you the same thing. I'm sick of complaining about the weather. I'm sick of feeling stuck. I'm sick of not being able to ride. And I'm sick of constantly feeling the pressure to make content when there's no content to make. I'm, I'm literally just, I guess it's partially my fault. I'm not being as creative with myself as I could, but I'm just ready to go away. And I am gonna do that. That's the reason why I'm making this video right now. 
So basically the motorcycle camping videos have been hurting the channel more than they're helping. And I say that with a little hesitance because those of you who are watching and finding value in the videos, like that's why I made those videos. So I don't regret making those videos whatsoever because people have found value in them and I'm grateful for that. But um, they are performing so terribly on my channel as a whole that it is actually hurting my channel more uh, rather than if I just didn't post anything at all. The fact that so little viewers are interested in those videos is basically signaling to YouTube like, hey, this, this channel is just, it sucks. Um, her own subscribers aren't interested in her videos anymore, so don't, don't try to put this content in front of people who actually might need the information. So that's, that's where that's at, and it's a real thing, and I hate that I have to think about stuff like that, because I just want to make what I want to make, and that's the end of it. So I'm taking a step back, like I said, and I, I won't be gone long, not by any means. You know, as soon as I can get back on two wheels, the cameras are going to turn on. So, but I did want to let you guys know I am going to be traveling. So total transparency, um, here very soon this week of you watching this video, I will be in Arizona test riding the brand new Harley Davidson Touring ST edition, the 2022 Touring Street Glide, Road Glide, and some other stuff. So I will get to ride this week, thank God, I'm so ready. So that's gonna be very unique and interesting and I'm very excited to see those motorcycles. And then shortly after that, I do have a really big trip planned and I want to make sure I give myself enough opportunity and enough time to really capture that experience, edit it nicely and tell a beautiful story for the world to see. So those are the other two reasons that I am leaving, I am going away. And I might not have videos scheduled for when I actually do take those trips. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up with you guys is, in case you haven't noticed in the intros of these videos, <laughs> the Hertz Wheels channel is officially sponsored by Law Tigers this year. And I can't begin to tell you how much of just a wonderful little welcome this relationship has been with Law Tigers. If you're unfamiliar, Law Tigers are specifically motorcycle attorneys. And I, you know, nobody wants to talk about attorneys. Nobody wants to need an attorney. No one wants to think about motorcycle crashes. But the thing that I've always loved about Law Tigers is I didn't really know what they did, but I saw all of these amazing events happening, you know, Sturgis or Arizona Bike Week and Daytona Bike Week and stuff like that. And so Law Tigers has always been like in my mind, I've known of them. And that's because of their amazing generosity and their support of the actual riding community. Every single person that works for Law Tigers rides a motorcycle. So thankfully to my new sponsors this year, I'm actually gonna have real opportunities to travel and go to some of these amazing rallies. And that's like been the saddest thing this whole time is like last year, of course, I, I worked a full-time job half the year and so many people were like, are you coming to Sturgis? Are you coming to Daytona? And I was like, unfortunately, I can't. I don't have the time to take off and I don't have the ways to get there because it's far, everything's so far away. But finally this year, I'm gonna be able to go to some of those events. And obviously if you guys follow me on Instagram, that's gonna be the quickest way to know whether or not I'm gonna be able to come hang out with you. So. Um, that's another part of the what I'm going to be doing when I go away. So uh, I, I do have a list of like really cool events that I can attend with these guys this year. So I'm interested to know which ones you're going to and which ones are you most looking forward to. I want to be there and I want to travel and I want to ride with you guys. I'm sick of being lonely. YouTube is scary, man. It's scary. I, I have been a creative person my entire career and uh, as soon as I started creating for myself, I started letting um, numbers and analytics dictate the stuff I actually wanted to create. And once again, unfortunately, I'm doing that. These past few videos have been performing so terribly that I'm just kind of wanting to walk away from it completely because I thought they were fun and I thought they were informative, but they're just not popular and that's fine. But when YouTube punishes creators because their audience isn't interested in the content they're creating, it's kind of like, okay, <laughs> all right, I guess. I'm not sure what is going to happen with moto vlogs. Moto vlogging, total transparency is the whole reason I created the channel in the first place. I really enjoyed the idea of motorcycle vlogging, but I don't know how many more of those traditional style videos we're gonna get on the channel. 
they're still gonna be there like I'm not gonna stop moto vlogging at all by any means but I don't know that it's gonna be like one video per vlog or per topic type of thing so um I just kind of want to share you know my life and my struggles and the things that I think about and especially as an entrepreneur and a business owner with all of this I'm still learning every single day and it's as much as a business as it is just a creative liberty so fortunately I do have you guys I do have a platform and that is part of the reason why I do get to keep creating is because you keep watching so I, I'm sincerely I apologize for the content that has been the past couple months on this channel I do feel quite literally and figuratively stuck but Hopefully there's a light at the end of this tunnel. Quite literally, I hope it's spring. <laughs> I'm ready to ride. Awesome, thank you guys so much for listening once again. And until my next video, whenever it is, you be good and I will see you later. <laughs>